okay. Right, I just ran next door to get a vacuum cleaner from Sia. They're not happy, are they? Oh. Yeah. He just took a step. Yeah, he did. So I think water, rainwater is leaking in every window because all of that's rotted. This is completely rotted. Hello, welcome to a new vlog. It is Monday. We have just come to our friend's house who also live in Alegria. If you watched our wedding vlogs, then you know Fish and Deepa, they're actually our friends who married us. Mm -hmm. And Fish's parents have a house down here. So we're coming over to hang out. Yeah, and this is like the other side of the village, so we don't come up here that often, but it's beautiful views. They've got a little pool. We've brought some games to play. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we're gonna jump in the pool now. Yeah, hopefully we can show you a little bit of their house because we're getting lots of inspiration from all the different builds. So yeah. it's fun to see what everyone has done. You ready, Nia? You ready for swimming time? <laughs> he had a lovely late afternoon swim. The sun has just dropped below the, the mountain over there. Neo is just exploring. What did you just say, Ryan? <laughs> Fish is cooking so much, he's so good. And if you watched our vlogs back then, every Friday, we'd have the Shabbat dinners and he would grace us with his incredible skills. And this is the first, our first fish meal in years. Costa Rican Shabbat. Oh, I love it. What do you think? Neo, he's very, I think he's ready. He's yeah. looking, he's like <laughs> salivating. Sorry, he's salivating, yeah, he's definitely <laughs> yeah. salivating. He, he is. <laughs> He's like, I know good food when I smell it. He's straight yeah. drooling. Like, mm. oh. So we've had dinner. Um, we're gonna play some games now, but we want Neo to go down to sleep. And obviously, normally we're at home this time of night and he has his bedtime routine. And we've said this before in the vlog, but as much as possible, we wanna get him used to being out in different places, different locations, around different people, getting used to falling asleep, um, not just in bed, but in his pram, in the car, in other people's beds, on the couch, wherever. Like we grew up, more so Raya as well, like falling asleep being put down like in restaurants like on the on the chairs yeah so um yeah slowly we'll just get him more used to it so but it is a little bit more challenging to get him down to sleep without his bath time and feeding and stuff but Raya's feeding him now and then we'll put him in his pram and hopefully rock him to sleep okay before Neo goes down to sleep we're giving him some dessert. Important question, y'all. Yes. Close enough. We want to play Monopoly deal right now. So inside bus, it's now uh, what's the day today? Tuesday. Uh, Louis, what are we uh, aiming to do today? I think today we could. Definitely clear out all of this. I think to start with, there's a lot of unscrewing to do. Whoa, 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 whoa. This, guys, we have been attacked by flying an ant's nest. A flying ant's nest. We need a hoover ASAP, don't we? Okay. Uh, 
Easy enough. I'm gonna run over to Sears and get his Hoover. Okay, right, I just ran next door to get a vacuum cleaner from Sia, who is just over the hill. And bite, nip there in seconds, it was bleeding. Crazy. So, is it stinging or is it just uh... It's stinging a tiny bit, not bad, not bad. But... Uh, that was quite the fiasco. <laughs> <laughs> I think before lunch we can take this whole Get other on. side of the kitchen out and just clear this whole front section. Yeah, and that's do. a nice milestone to hit before we head off for a little break. I was reminding Louis how much easier it is to strip out a bus when you did the boom bus. Yeah. Easy, couple of, couple of days, the whole thing stripped. Rebuilding the interior. Weeks, weeks. Yeah, I, when I was, I don't know how old I was, like 25? Well before I started YouTube, I had this double-decker bus that I tore around, the youth events. I think I've mentioned it a bunch of times, but yeah, I redid the downstairs. I think I, I think it was a couple of months straight. I was living on the bus and working 12 hour days, at least a month. And I was just like tinkering a little carpentry bits and painting and trying to do upholstery. And it was a big experiment. I was eating microwave meals, canned food and energy drinks to keep me going for a month and did not feel well at the end of that. But Booked up a party oh, yeah. with a date, with a deadline date, you had to get it on the road. The deadline helps to uh, get it refurbished. <sighs> it did it though. And did it. Uh, throw a party. <sighs> okay, what time is it? It is 12.20. Wow, we smashed that whole bit out in 20 minutes. We have been working on clearing the bus this morning. We've just got back. Mariana's here, if you haven't seen. She arrived very late last night, like, was it like 2 a.m.? 2.30 in the morning and um, she's going to be staying for a couple of weeks which is great. Lunch has been served, this looks delicious, pasta, pasta and tomatoes with a creamy, is this a tofu sauce? Yeah. Lovely. And we've put some sun-dried tomatoes and some nutritional yeast. And Neo's had a bit more of a difficult morning today for some reason. Maybe because you teething this stuff? I'm a little popsicle. Yeah. Yeah, we've got a little, uh, you making them out of like fresh fruit? Yeah, yeah. Papaya and banana. Papaya and banana popsicles in the freezer. Getting ready for your tea. You want some, you want some pasta? We've had lunch, delicious. And my dad is now preparing the pineapple. Oh, thanks. Is it better? Oh, uh, this is quite, this is quite sharp actually. Mmm, Neo can smell this. I can't see what I'm doing because it's far away. Well, it's for, you've done a much better job. I did one of the pineapples and all of the brown bits are left. Look at that, Neo. Oh, it's a little Is bit. One? Oh, yeah, that's, that's good. That's good. That's good. And the fingers. Oh, is that nice on the teeth? Oh. You can hold it if you like. That's it. And that one. It's quite slippy. It's cool. Oh, you want to spin it sideways? Well, that, that probably doesn't fit in your mouth that way, but you that's can try. That's what does. You, go you can try. Good day of work. I've come down to the hive now. Raya and her mum and Neo are already in the pool. I'm just going to throw my shorts on and jump in. The sun is probably going to be here for another 10 minutes though. I'm going to hurry. Hello, Neo! Da, 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 da. <laughs> it's me, <Anna. laughs> Hey, my son. That was so nice. Every time we come and swim here, it's just like instant peace. Right, we're gonna go and get some dinner on the go because Raya and her mum are going to a women's circle tonight. And uh, it'd be good if we could get Neo down before they head off to the women's circle. Otherwise, we're gonna be hanging out for a few hours because it's very difficult to get them to sleep. Wow, they're right 
They're not happy, are they? They're not happy. We were just hanging out and these monkeys are making their way back because it's sunset. And they look a bit angry. It's all right, it's all right, mister. monkeys at sunrise and then at sunset go past our house and it, this morning it was amazing with it in bed and I literally like opened my eyes and just saw them kind of swinging past and it was an amazing I didn't grab my camera in time but um, I said to my dad oh well, let's go to the roof and see if we can see the monkeys coming past the Neo so it's good to know what time but anyway they you said they were getting a bit threatening I, I, six I six right now I, I took Neo out the way because I thought they were going to come down on the uh, on the patio here and sort of like jump out of the trees wow for safety's sake what do you think Neo monkey are good aren't they I feel like I haven't really chatted to you guys yet in this vlog I'm about to put some hair oil in my hair um, if you watch my Instagram then you know that I got a haircut I guess over a month ago now that I didn't love <laughs> Thank you, some of you have left really sweet comments about my hair. I think it's just, it's not that I don't think it's a good haircut, I just don't know if it suits me. I just think some of these like, it's really short, I mean, this is like the shortest layer imaginable. I asked for layers, I asked her to bring it up, but this, I've never, I've never had layers so short. So, I was reading that rosemary oil can really help with hair growth and like massaging the scalp, so I need to wash my hair today. Anyway, I need to shower, so I thought I'd put some oil in. This is the one I got. Um, I just got one that was well rated, but after going to Sarah's um, herbalism class, I realized how easy it is to make these, so I think I'm just gonna make my own next time. Um, this is rosemary and mint, so I think you literally just put rosemary and mint in a carrier oil like a coconut or olive oil or something. Um, and I'm sure it works out significantly cheaper than buying it in a bottle like this. But I'm just gonna use this one. I guess I should probably just put it straight into my hair. This is so weird for me because I have really greasy hair. Like it gets greasy quite quickly. So putting oil in is kind of crazy. Sorry, I'm just gonna look at the, um, let's look in the mirror to see it go in. Okay, and then the other thing I wanted to chat to you about, last night, my mom and I went to a women's circle. So every Tuesday, there's a women's circle at the yoga shala. And if you've never been to a women's circle, it's basically just like women gathering. <laughs> That's literally kind of the meaning of it. And then people can lead it in so many different ways. I've been to tons of different circles with different themes and all different things. So like the first one that I went to here was literally, we just asked one question and then everyone around answering it. And it's usually a space where people can feel comfortable to go a bit deeper, maybe be vulnerable. Um, so it could be as simple as that, or there could be different activities. Um, yeah, there's so many different ways to do it, but it's just like a beautiful opportunity for people to connect and get to know each other on a deeper level. And there's a men's circle here as well on Wednesday. So Louis's been going to that, and I've been going to the women's circles, and it's such, it's really amazing to have an opportunity to take some time for myself. It really feels like it's like me refilling my cup. Um, last night though, I think Neo was teething and he was kind of struggling to sleep. So Louie did his best to try to get him to sleep. But when I got home, he was still awake at like nine. Um, and then as soon as he breastfeeds, he falls asleep immediately. So luckily I could put him to sleep really quickly. But, um, but yeah, that's been really, really fun. Obviously I can't vlog any of that because it's like, you know, it's all about confidentiality and stuff, but it's a beautiful experience. And um, they have said that people can, like, lead, take turns leading the women's circle and kind of coming up with different themes and stuff. And I think I might want to do it. I've never done anything really like that. Uh, I mean, I've done, like, the online, I did an online kind of self-love course, but, like, in person I've never led. And I think there's so many people here who do things like that all the time that my kind of immediate feeling would be that I, like who am I to step up, so um, just to let them do it. But I think I've had some ideas of things I'd like to do and um, you know, I, I wanna push myself out of my comfort zone, so I think I'd like to lead. So if I do um, one of these coming weeks, I will tell you about what I plan to do in it. But yeah, I'm really excited. Okay, I think that should be good. My hair is very greasy. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it up in a bun 
and we're about to have lunch. I've been up here with Neo while he was napping because we've just he's been falling asleep in the bed and um, I can't leave him because he can roll out of the bed. So I just kind of sit next to him and do some work or something while he's napping. So my mom's been cooking, which has been amazing. I oh, it's just the best to have her for so many different reasons. Obviously, just it's great to be with her, but. She's also such a good cook and <laughs> it's so good to come downstairs and everything's clean and cooked and yeah, perfect. Okay, let me show you what she cooked. <laughs> so I wanted to chat about, I was just reading some comments that you guys had left in our videos and the sound you can hear in the background, those are cicadas. And I know the kids, for some people, it's funny, like some of the comments are like, oh my God, it's the most incredible, soothing sound. I could just fall asleep listening to it. And there's some people who are like, that is so annoying, what is that? Um, obviously they can't do anything about it. There's certain times of day that they get louder and honestly when you're here this much they just kind of become like background noise if we can try to be aware of it we'll try to not film when they're the loudest or try to use some kind of microphone or something but realistically we can't get rid of them um but okay anyway let's see what is for lunch mom what's for lunch lentils Hello. lentils oh my gosh this is one of my favorite things growing up lentil soup mm. how have you guys been how's the bus looking um, I got to take a photo but can, can you help me pick oh, oh you're vlogging I'm vlogging <laughs> um, we smashed the two sides of the shower yeah the back wall the floor yeah. and the tiles is this thick concrete what Yes. And, oh. and we started dismantling like the shower and you can see through to the road this <gasps> huge section rusted out the floor of the bus. Whoa. Oh, I need to do some welding. Okay. Nice. And Louis <laughs> yeah. was trying to say every individual. Not Louis every individual, <laughs> but I just think the tire where we can, let's save them. My my strategy was He just wanted balance. a sledgehammer, he wanted yeah. to just demolish everything. Can I come do that at some point? It sounds fun. Yeah. Just I wanna smash help, things. My anger management. Yeah, yeah. I mean people pay to go to like yeah. smash rooms you or whatever. Smash the concrete. Yeah, yeah. it'll be fun. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome to the bus. I love it. It feels really spacious, yeah. right? Oh, so, uh, so good. Right, this is right. Wow. Yeah, Mum. Wow. It gives you lots to think about, doesn't it? Uh -huh. Like, imagine if we didn't build a closet there and we somehow managed to do it at the back somehow. Right. It just feels so spacious. But maybe we should put it there, but. But even if, I mean, is this basically the size we're building for the beds? That wall moves forward a bit, allowing space to step off the end of the bed. Yeah. But this then it... one goes back a tad. And but then... you're saying you also might want to push the bed back a bit. <sighs> I mean, it's a lot of work. I, I like that we've got a room back there for storing things, even if it's like a hoover and like you know, things. I to... think I would like to cut that so that there's light coming in from the top. So I think water, rainwater is leaking in every window because all of that's rotted. This is completely rotted. Nice piece of wood. Can you turn it over? Oh wow. They've eaten that. Hey! Did you have a nice swim? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh! Yeah, you do this, you got it. Neo! Come on! Oh. Thanks. Yeah. Like, yeah, God like, is falling, that's what falls. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Yeah! 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 He just took a step. No. Yeah, he did. What is the sun? Seven colors of the rainbow. It is Thursday morning and normally we pick up our fruit and veg from the garden on Tuesday mornings but we haven't actually, I, don't, I haven't told you, I don't know if Louie has, but this week is a very special week. It is the week of our HOA meeting, Homeowners Association. So all of us as neighbors, we vote on things once a year, many different things like our budget for the year because we all pay monthly dues that 
help pay for the farm, so many things on the land. So that's one thing. There's so many different things that we vote in. We vote in a new board for next year. It's kind of boring, <laughs> that side of it. On Saturday, we have all day long meetings and voting and everything, but around the HOA, a lot of neighbors fly in who maybe whose houses aren't quite built yet, who aren't living here just yet, but they come here for this. And so because of that, there's lots of activities around it. And some of them start today, including farm pickup. So, we're just coming now. My mom and I ended up walking over because we said that our farm pickup was at eight. You like vote what time you're gonna come. And it was getting close to eight and Neo was still asleep because he ended up going to bed late last night. Um, and so was Louis. So I was like, okay, why don't you just bring him down when he wakes up? Um, so the boys are still sleeping and we just walked down. It was a beautiful walk. Oh wow, it's very, very abundant this week. <laughs> Can you tell me what's what, what we've got down here? We have regular like Americana lettuce. Yeah. We have some collard greens, rainbow chard, Ikunawa spinach, like a purpley. So we got mustard, we got bok choy, bok choy kale, that's kale fried. broccoli. Oh, this is yeah, a different type of stir kale. Fries, so many good stuff. And yeah. it's not even done yet. We're still harvesting some more. <laughs> Oh, yummy. Jack. Good morning, Stephen. His first apple banana. He loves bananas. Make a tea and you drink it at night. This is good for the brain. Gati cola, this is tikka. Some mint for the tea. Mm. In our first vlog out here, we were trying to track down some little fig tree saplings that we planted on our lot after our wedding in 2022. We thought that they'd died, but Raya found them. One of the gardeners came over and told us, so we're on our way to see him now. Oh, it's just one survived. Yeah. It hasn't grown much, but it's doing well. And Ebe, the lead gardener, was basically saying they're gonna put, put some love into it, and then he needs to move it to a bigger pot. He asked if we wanted it back or if we wanted him to keep taking care of it, but I asked if he could because he'll definitely know what to do better than us. Find an acerola bush. Tastes like sour. They're quite an earthy taste. We have stopped at Almendra, one of our favourite restaurants, and this is Neo's first time here. My dad's first time. Nuggets, tacos. Toasted, no, no, hamburger, all vegan. We just had a delicious lunch at our favorite, one of our favorite vegan restaurants. First time this trip, it's lovely. And we're gonna head down the road now, three minutes to the Atenas weekly fruit market. Hopefully there's still some delicious fruit for us to nab. Yeah, now we're gonna stock up on fruit for the week. Oh, very exciting, look at these pineapples. These are perfect size bananas for Neo. And two of these bunches for two dollars. Wow, a dollar each? Yeah. Wow. Ah. Oh, he's so excited with all the fruit. Look at that! Wow. <laughs> Lemon. We had a successful mission at the fruit market. What did we get? Watermelon. Papaya. Papayas. Mango. Mangoes. Bananas. Oranges. Yeah. Lemons. Freshly squeezed orange juice. 
all the things. Singapore. Okay, to the supermarket. Well, we just pulled over in there to have a feed, and we've got a fantastic view across the valley. We have just arrived at Eremar, the restaurant at the top of the hill that we've been to a couple of times. So, so beautiful. Mia was a little bit sad on the car ride, but it's cheered up now at this view and the breeze as well. us come here every week because when this is five minutes from your house and you can't see the sunset from your house obviously you need to make the most of this and I'm so glad we got to show it to some new people so Fish and Suri and Deepa who you would know if you watched our wedding videos and now we're all here together and it's just beautiful to be here. Raya's mum has cooked us dinner. We're sitting down. Neo is asleep at the moment. Ooh. Mm, all the greens are in the garden. Some of the stuff we collected this morning. What have you been this making? Is, Your little concoction. Uh, quite strong gingery orange lemon thing with a bit of honey. And this is a bit more water. It's nice, a bit of lime as well. Mm. Nice. Refreshing. All pretty local stuff, I think. It's all ginger, not from Alegria, but ginger from the organic farmer that we buy it from. An orange from the fruit market. Is it good? Nice. Wait, let's do a little Nestorave. Salut. <laughs> it's got a kick to it, isn't it? I like it. Hello, good morning. It is Friday, and today the activities have begun for the HOA weekend. This morning there was a yoga class my mom and I went to. I only got filmed a couple of clips, but it was so amazing. Oh, I've been meaning to do yoga for ages, and I just feel so good. It just sets me up for the rest of the day. And now the next big exciting thing is there is a house tour. Basically a lot of the houses that are already completed have just signed up to say like you can come view our house. Um, so we are just going around checking them all out. Obviously we're gonna check with everyone if we can film, but hopefully we can show you guys some of the different builds because this is where we're gonna get a lot of inspiration and yeah, see how everyone has done it and little things that maybe we would wanna do as well. Oh, lovely. Oh, so beautiful. Thank you. Oh, I love it. Yeah, that is serious amounts of bamboo. <laughs> so this is all screens behind, so there's... Yeah, oh, yeah, this that is makes the bamboo sense. right here. You can kind of see from the outside. This is bamboo. Mm -hmm. And then we beautiful. screened it, so... Mm -hmm. And they all open individually, so we can open the whole mm -hmm. house up. Oh, I love it. Amazing. These are nice chairs. Yeah. I'm a big fan of round tables. They're, they're my favourite. Yeah. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, I like the idea of having a little. It's kind of an outdoor shower, but yeah. it's. It's really cool and nice.
Neo, what have you found? What have you found? Mangoes! Oh, imagine having a mango tree like this in our lot. And you can just pick him? Yeah. Wow. Where are we now? We've just come to the next house. This is, I think you showed this house like two years ago. Yeah. It was one of the first, maybe the house, first house being built. It's very natural materials. It's our friend Doug. Yeah. We've got the sacred geometry circular door. Is this a shower? Yeah. So cool. Yeah, this is really cool. Another bedroom? Mm -hmm. Another office area. I've been to this house a couple of times, but I haven't been upstairs. There's like a open kind of deck area. People have come up with all kinds of ideas to do with this. I often imagine um, having like a little acoustic band practicing here. Or yeah. Really love that house. Bit of a fast whiz around because we're trying to catch up with the rest of the group. As usual, we're running late with this house tour, but we're heading on to the third house. We skipped one of the houses, which we definitely want to go back to, which is right actually down by our lot. But we're going to go and check out our other friend's house over here. We are at the next house. This is our other, I mean, they're all our neighbors, but I'm really excited to see this one. And we caught up with the group. They've added like a courtyard so that on both sides there's plants mm. and more extra light getting in. I like how different rooms all open up to the main porch. Yeah, probably won't get to do a bathtub in our bus house, but in our main house. Yeah. House number four. I like what you can see down to the bottom level. Yeah. One of the women who lives here, she has a brand where she makes kombucha yeah. and she's made jackfruit kombucha, so we're going to try it out. And proper chunks of jackfruit. Mm. Yes. Oh. Wow. Wow. I love it. Mm. I like the eating of jackfruit. Mm -hmm. That's super cool. Wow. I feel like you can start making kombucha. Uh, yeah, I'd like to. Ah! Ah! It's a doggy! Neo has found a little banana. <laughs> Is it yummy? <laughs> cool little music room in here. The final house. This is a lovely time of day, like the temperature, the breeze, everything. What do you think? I mean, it's all about the view. And this is basically the view we have because we're just like two left that way. Uh, Mia! Yeah. Yeah. That is the last of the houses we have been touring today. Lots to think about. My head's kind of buzzing with uh, thoughts and ideas and inspiration and things to avoid. We're gonna head back to us now and grab some dinner. Oh, it's a fun day. Yeah. 
Great. We're just coming to the hive now for dinner. So this is like a big communal dinner. We've all chipped in. And they've hired a chef. So I'm really excited. I'm so hungry. Somehow that was so tiring going around all the houses. Your dad was saying it's almost like when you go around a museum like yeah, all day. Yeah, so much felt. to take in. Mia, you love to put your feet in. And there's a light there, so they're looking really good. <laughs> nice. What do you think of the dinner, Dad? The, the jackfruit is incredible. It's very soft, it's very tender, and it's very, very tasty. Mm. I love these huge, big community meals. This is awesome. I think we're going to do another one tomorrow night. It's going to be down in the, in the farm area. Hello! I don't know if Louie has vlogged yet, but I haven't. Today, Saturday, is the official day of our HOA meeting. We spent the whole day, literally like, I don't know, seven hours or something, um, voting and we had all these different proposals for different things, the budget, because we all pay monthly HOA fees that go to different things, the farm, like the maintenance, so many different things. Um, so anyway, we just did all that and I'm pretty exhausted. Um, but now we get to move on to the fun. So I'm walking down to the garden right now because we have a huge community dinner planned. Um, and then, then we're dancing and Louie's actually DJing. So I don't know if he's vlogged yet today because he's been preparing all day for the DJ set. Um, so he's going to get his laptop and stuff now. But first up, dinner. <laughs> from the mundane and the doing and the working and the thinking to the sacred. This is an opportunity for us to co-create ceremony, to co-create ritual that is such an important component for our communities. Uh -huh. Because I love you so much. 
come down to the hive today and they are hosting a little marketplace where people can sell different things like little snacks and drinks and stuff so we're gonna have a little wander around see what we can find this is amazing yeah i was just talking we have to do this every week yeah every month at least to start with 100 percent. so we found some sandwiches mio is getting very heavy nowadays so i put him in the uh the wrap I feel like everyone's kind of arms are too tired. Would you like a sandwich? Okay. <laughs> no, I don't think you can eat that. But would you say we're hoping to start doing this once a month to start with? Because mm. we showed you the market that happens at the other community. So if we start with once a month, then we can have it two once a week. I love this. And it means lo local people like the other neighbours that are looking to earn money whilst living here can share their gifts and food that they're making and Oh, it's we, not just that, but there's local farmers selling yeah. fruit. There's like the local uh, school is um, raising money to buy more desks and chairs so they have a little table. Really, it's not just, it's like the neighbors and the surrounding Yeah, community. and the surrounding community. So fun. I love it. Yeah, this is so cool. I feel like this is the first time I've experienced something like this in Alegria. There's something that we've been showing you in the vlogs, like that's a neighboring kind of village that started doing these like Sunday events, but I can totally. Imagine. And we'll do Saturdays so we don't have to wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I love it. So fun. Let's get together to fight this holy Armageddon. There is one question I'd really love to ask. Is there a place for the hopeless sinner who can hope all mankind just to Save his soul together now. Alegria, alegria. Let's get together and we'll feel